All right, here we go. We'll watch this Formicid's Summoner on its run through the dungeon. I love playing Summoner, so I feel like it's a pretty good run. I actually made a pretty good run here and got a, quite a distance, so we'll see quite a bit of jumping around in this uh, replay. But we'll try to show all the times that I nearly died and what type of things almost killed me. Cobalt there, for example, and D1 almost took me out. I don't know that the Formicid is a good combination with Summoner, but we do we do a pretty good job. You can see we're already cruising our way through uh, D1. In this edit, I'm going to try to keep each level, each uh, dungeon level, to about a minute, and we'll see how far we get in uh, as a Formicid. I've never beaten the game as a summoner. I tend to top out right about a little bit after I get the level four spells humming. Here we are in D2. Lots of people all over. I love being able to see where the bad guys are nearby. Still only have call imp and small mammal. Maybe we can spend the time while watching this episode and name our little buddies. I always like to name them in each run as a, uh oh, this Quokka nearly took us out. That was pretty bad. Can't let that thing see us over there. Oh, get one ahead it didn't. So now we're all by yourself 1v1 the snake. That doesn't seem like a good idea. We're constrict just constricted. Nope, got out of it. Phew. So let's see our imp buddy. Let's call the imp buddy uh, Mr. Smith. So whenever we see our imp friend, this time will be Mr. Smith. I think last time it was Mr. Ed. The bat will name uh, Pancake. Uh oh, Terrence is in town. Mr. Smith, protect us. Oh gosh, let him with the bat. Let just let him fly right past. Now we get Terrence right up on top of us. Nobody's protecting us. Nobody in between Terrence and us. Still hasn't got a hit off. Oh no, I just spoke too soon. This is trouble. This guy's got way too much HP This to be this close to us. Need to keep our distance. There's a Quokka. Two Quokkas. Come on, we gotta get some hits on this guy from behind. Come on. Oh my gosh, it's down to nine hit points. Oh, he's confused. There's a chance we're gonna get out of this. There's a staircase. Okay. While he's confused, let let our guys hit him a couple times. There he's going down to one one health. Oh, okay. All of our guys are gone. Okay, Quokka back. Two Quokkas. He's just pounding through them with that uh, mace. Oh, he's confused again. Where are we? Yes! All right, our buddy. Our Quokka buddy beat him to death. Oh, my goodness. So we got that mace, but n neither the mace nor the scale mail do us any good. Uh, so we'll just move on D4 at this point. That was an interesting battle, though. Oh, now we got the doggy. Oh, cute little white doggy. Okay, so let's see. Uh, we'll name um, we'll no name our doggy Ice Cube this time. Ice Cube the dog. Uh, yeah. Whoa, uh -oh. Eustachio sauce. This is gonna be cool. It's like a summoning versus summoning battle. Uh, let's see. Well, our guys are in really great position to take Eustachio out. Yeah, he's down health. He's confused. Come on, Dougie. We got this. We got a bat and a quoke a little too close to us, but that's okay. Don't want anybody to get confused. Let's focus on Eustachio. Yeah, see, I'm worried that I should have probably been sending a, shouting, sending out shouts and commands. Oh, that worked out nicely. Okay, good. Whew. Spellcasting reached level 4. Fire magic reached level 2, so that means we can bring the... Um, the new, the new fire-based robot into our team. Oh, we found the temple. This is a cool-looking temple. Um, which, which person should we fit for summoner? Happily Aquana comes to mind as the first one for me. Uh, but there's some other people that do some summoning. We could add. Oh, it looks like we're going for McCleb. Yeah, a lesser servant and a greater servant of McCleb are both summoning, so that makes sense. So in the grand scheme of things, summoning with McCleb is good and also help with our... Um, we can summon a ball of fire from McCleb too, so 
yeah, I think that a fair amount of summoning goes into McCleb's uh, uh, devotion. We shouldn't uh, change our settings to go after... Let's get that blaze heart out here. To go after invocations. If we improve our invocations, maybe we can get up to that point where we're summoning a couple extra buddies. Uh, thanks to McCleb's skills. This phantom is trouble because it can bounce around, just like we saw there. But if he's confused, he's not going to bounce us around. Of course, I lied and he jumped right next to us. Yes, easy. Okay, good. Phantom can be trouble for squishy dudes like our Formicid, but... The amount of buddies I can summon tend to protect us. Oh, that uh, Bombardier Beetle. Oh, set our doggy on fire. Oh no. We really reached level 7. Doggy survived the fire. These bats are not going to stick around and be in the right positions. Definitely worried about that scorpion. I get to, oh my gosh, this is too many dudes in, in one moment. Oh yeah, we're in trouble. Health going down. We got smited. Our priest can't see us right now. The wizard confused our Quokka. We're getting out of here. Okay, we're going to have the doggy come back. See if we can take out that wizard before going upstairs. We got our little rat buddies right nearby us. Mr. Smith making a re reappearance. Our doggy's confused. The scorpion got way too close, way too fast. Oh yeah, we can dig out if we need to. I don't use that often enough. But yeah, let's just get out of there. Sorry everybody, so all our, sorry all our summon buddies. Well, um, I know that wasn't a good spot for you. Ooh, this is not a scary spot. Robin's right here. Um, maybe we can take out one or two goblins before going back upstairs. Of course, him throwing goblins over our shoulder. It could be more scary. But we could probably 1v1 a goblin, but when the doggy comes out, we definitely just take them out. We're going to go back downstairs and see how many goblins are right next to the staircase. No, we're going to go to a different staircase. It's safer. Check this one out. It's far away from everybody. Quoko versus Quoko, 1v1. Is our guy going to win? It looks like we won. That iguana might be too strong. And it looks like we're getting goblins thrown at us again by Robin. Yeah, that iguana can be trouble. I think our doggy should be able to take it, especially if it's not attacking it. Robin making the mistakes of getting too close to our doggy. I don't mind uh, one goblin getting close. Yeah, keep throwing one goblin at us at a time. I hope they've all been enraged by Robin, but uh, did we kill Robin just a moment ago? I think we did. Dart slug not really scary. None of these dudes are too scary for us. Yes, there's our first appearance of our um, of our fire robot. Fell asleep instantly because we're not close enough to it. But now it's ready to fight. There we go. Okay, we got all the buddies in place. Yes. Level, level 6 summoning. It's pretty good. None of the rest of this floor should be scary because Although it might seem like there's more dudes, I think we took out just about everybody thanks to that battle with Robin. So now we're on D5. Ogre is a little bit scary. I don't see how we're going to have enough hit points or power to hit fight this guy. Um, our robot's pretty good. Blaze Heart Golem. I guess it shouldn't be called a robot, but it feels like a robot to me. These five, four dudes are scary, especially the Brigand. But yeah, the, is there really like 12 dudes, or is that just what we remember seeing in those spots? That's a lot of dudes. I have a feeling there's only like four or five dudes over there, but we're being very cautious and careful. Take on only one at a time if we can. Let's get close enough, get one dude to notice us. Hello. Yeah, there's the brigand right up front. So if our, if our dog could win this fight, that'd be perfect. Oh, he's getting poisoned a lot, so that's not good. I don't think the golem can get poisoned, so that would be good. Oh, the brigand is confused. Golem getting ready to power up. Smashed him, killed him. Killed the brigand. Now we're down to three. 
Okay, we're gonna let our boy fall asleep and then when he gets hit enough, he'll explode all over everybody. I guess he's recovering or something? He's falling asleep. Oh, get out of there! Boom! Alright, let's see what's on D6. Got an Ice Beast. Ice Beast has killed me multiple times as a summoner. It's surprising how powerful these Ice Beasts can be. But our doggy should be able to take him on. And it's important that the Kolka is behind him. And in theory, that should be helpful. Um, this golem has got to do more work for me. Ice Beast taken out by the doggy. Took a little work, bit of work, but... Invocation is now at level 2, so that's good. Ooh, I'm definitely not a fan of having this ranged centaur in this situation. Could could spell doom. We got him up close now. Yes, one hit from the Blazeheart. Two exclamation points. Pretty good. Okay, here come some dudes down the, down the corner. Oh, we're going to explode. Okay, got out of there. I like that um, Blazeheart Golem. I think it works pretty well. Yeah, let's bring this guy up when we want him. And then trick him by summoning a dog. Piece of cake. Let's go to another stairwell downstairs. D6. We got the ogre coming in at us. This is not good. This this oak, orc got past our defenses. Yeah, put the, put the golem in the way. Might be able to smash him. Yep, took him out. One shot. Golem fell asleep. Now it's going to explode. Get out of there. Nice. Yes. Okay, he's going to fall asleep. Uh, that's not perfect, because that ogre just basically ignored him because he was asleep. Um, what are we going to do to get out of this situation? Yeah. I, I vote going upstairs. That dog? It's good timing. Okay, this might work, because the... Blaze heart, and we can we can move closer. Ah, um, yeah, I don't like that he's gonna get next to us. Ah, oh, and our dude's gonna fall asleep. We're in a lot of trouble now. This might be the end. Okay, I don't know how we got out of that. Some the Inagami hit it a lot and a lot hit it hard. Okay, another phantom. A little bit dangerous situation. Uh, phantom's gonna bounce around. We don't want the phantom to bounce our golem away from us. It's kind of okay if he bounces the dog away. Oh, I, I don't think he's gone. Yeah, if we can two on one, three on one that phantom, that'd be great. Perfect. Black bear. Not smart to take on the black bear, one of you one. I guess we're gonna have two little rat dudes, uh, two little quokas fight the black bear. I guess that's what we're gonna do. Huh? I mean, it worked. Um, we're really getting better intelligence. Okay, there's a ba Bailey right there, so if we can go over there and get in, I think that would work out nicely. Oh. Well, I saw the bear coming, so it was probably smart for us to not go straight to the Bailey. We got this bear surrounded. Oh yeah, it's gone. I got a snake. That one thing's got a lot of poison ready. This, this hellhound got too close to us. Oh, I think it's just regular hound. Don't get hit by that. Oh my goodness, we're... Okay, we're fine. These hounds are trouble, but not the end of the world. We took out almost everything on this floor. Yep, one hound left. We could just go get in the bailey. Uh, but... Uh oh Maggie. Uh, Maggie the Vainglorious. I don't want to fight her, and probably smarter to get out. Yeah, we'll come back and deal with Maggie later, hopefully with a bunch of extra XP and... I'll level up. All right, now we're gonna deal with this Bailey. Lots of small things to beat up on. Should be quite beatable. Orc Warrior's only in yellow, so I think that means that we have a good shot at doing this. Um, a little dangerous that these guys are ranging uh, from this distance. It'd be nice if we could summon a couple of bats to go over there and take out those dudes. We can take these. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of boomerangs being thrown at us. <clears throat> We're gonna change over to a change over to a uh, boomerang. The imp can go across the water. 
Coca can't. Uh oh, Organite is double red, so that's not gonna be too hot when we take him on. Don't like the sound of that. There's a lot of dudes over there. But our doggy can take him out. And the imp seems to be doing some good work from distance. Yeah, and we got a Braveheart uh, Golem out. So we should be fine to have him cause some, cause some damage. Could summon a Lightning Spear. That could maybe be helpful in this moment. Oh, that didn't go well. We miscast it. And now we've got a Nameless Horror out here. And now we're basically doomed. Uh, there's a chance that the Golem can take him out. It did. So we still got a chance, but now we're down to two magic and no summons available. So we bring out a ra um Yeah, let's minor destruction these dudes. That was a good idea. Um, we hit him. Hey, we're down to only one dude. Is a chance we're gonna get out of this? Should we try to fight this guy 1v1, I guess? Oh man, so we're down to this one last knoll. If we can just get a little bit of space, we could get some magic back and yeah let's scoot back scoot back scoot back scoot back okay summon somebody come on doggy save us we gotta kite this uh orc oh man just getting smashed oh goodness doggy oh you didn't do enough help oh former said summoner could have done so much better um all right, we're on to Necromancer. Oh, I guess we already killed something. So this is going to be a Gargoyle Necromancer. So Formicid, uh, the Formicid itself didn't do us much good. Uh, we ended up dying in a situation where we couldn't use Dig. The Summoner side of that did all the heavy lifting. Look at all these little buddies that this Gargoyle has. So a Gargoyle Necromancer isn't a perfect uh, combination. Tough to good start, though. Um, good, good, in, good intelligence. And maybe this will work out. We can just increase that necromancy to a uh, potent enough level. We, sh you know, we could have a chance to catch that. That score for the formicid was, I think it said something like 1800, which is far higher than I've ever scored for a necromancer. But uh, I am getting better at necromancy, so there's a chance this could work out. And, yeah, I mean, we seem to be doing pretty well with Necrotize so far. Getting a lot of little little buddies to join us for short periods of time. This seems sort of like a, a similar, in a weird way, it's kind of similar to a summoner build. Um, where there's a chance that, uh, oh, here's Terrence. So, Terrence for the Necromancer. Oh, man, that's bold. I don't know, I guess because he's in yellow already at this point. Well, I think it's a little crazy for us to just try to 1v1 him. I think this might be over already. We have a mace, though. Well, yeah, we beat him with the, the mace. We were able to do a little bit of necrotize on these guys. Do the potion of magic so we can do some more necrotize. Eight magic isn't a lot. But if we can turn one of these guys into a skelly. There we go. Skelly dog. One hit point. We're down to one. It's almost over. This round's almost over already. Two doggies. Oh, the doggies confused. We got up to two hit points. Wow, that was a close one. Those jackals almost took us out. That does not bode well for the course of this run as the Necromancer. I'm not confident that that's going to work out in our favor. I'm a little annoyed that I made the mistake of leaving my cursor in the middle of the screen for basically this entire gargoyle run. Ignore that. Shouldn't even brought it up. Oh, Sigmund. Don't don't fight Sigmund. Oh, he's coming after us. Okay, you gotta go away. Oh, we're gonna fight him. Okay, this is nuts. I mean there's a chance this will work. Yeah, he's down to half health. A little bit less. Now we're confused and now we're that's gotta mean we're basically screwed. Get out of confused. Still full health, yes. Out of confused. Still full health. Still got four magic. Let's 
enough to necrotize him. Turn him into a skeleton. Yeah! Yeah, Sigmund! Sigmund the human skeleton. He belongs to us now. Yes, we went up two levels with that one. Oh, this this might be the necromancer run. This might be the one. Gargoyle's um, impervious to poison, so at least we got that going for us. And this might be a nice staff. Staff of fire. I think it's slightly better than a scythe. We're only on D2, though, so far, so he's got so much distance to go. Man, that was a lot of named characters for D2. Sigmund and Terrence. Yeah, we'll go down to D3 now. Yes, little skelly buddy. Dart Slug, I don't know. Maybe can't be turned into a skeleton. Cobalt sure can. Okay, now we've got a nice shop here. Um, ooh, some good books. I bet there's a, a Book of Decay feels like it might be the right book for a necromancer. Yeah, those surely are things we want. Yeah, Death Channel, that sounds like a necromancer thing. We'll come back for that. Can an ectoplasm be turned into a skelly? Hard to say. Now we got a snake. Oh, it's already gone. Yeah, I'm, I'm always a little saddened by how quickly the... Uh, but the skeleton buddies go away. I wish that they would stick around for the whole floor. But we're doing our best. Uh, Dithmenos. Shadowed. Well, does that quite fit us? I think it does. The darkness is a necromancy type thing. Yeah, so... I guess we're gonna go to Menos, and, and I guess it'll be hard to f see us and shoot us with uh, arrows and stuff, so that'll be good. Uh, we should be increasing our invocations so that we can get some of the better Death Menos skills down the road. This is a lot of dudes to try to fight in one corridor as a necromancer. I'd rather have it be one on one. The snake, confused, almost beat us. That's a lot of buddies. Let's keep these all together. Oh, half of them died as soon as they came in this room. Slow and steady wins the race. Time to be cautious. Going down this uh, loop de loop corridor. Woo woo woo. All right. This turn look good. A uh, ring of magical power, that's really smart to put on. Uh, for a necromancer, we could use that extra MP. I am thinking this has got to be pretty close. Let's see how... Let's see if we can make it to D6 or 7, and then it'll be very close. This, uh... That corridor with the... The marble and the glass is... I think that's a death trap. Some characters would do well in there. I'm not sure ours would. Yeah, we're letting things get too close to us too often. Just because we have this good necrotized skill doesn't mean we should be just letting things get right next to us. Got another new ring, so that's good. Jelly is probably unsafe to have in a fight with. Okay, good. It got confused, but it still hit us for a lot, and we're, we're heavily corroded. Ooh, I got really nervous about that one. Yikes. Scorpion's yellow. Gotta be careful here. This might be a close one. Got him. Squished him. So, for reference... When I go back and when I do these commentaries, 
I, I would love to be able to do them live, but lots of times when I'm recording the show, recording the game, I'm in a position where talking isn't possible. Um, I like to play Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup when uh, the kids are using the TV or the washing machine's going or something like that, so I can't always record live, so I often record the commentary after the fact, re-watching the video after I've edited it down to first time. So what we're, I'm watching this live and recording this live, but the, the game itself isn't live, so I'm re-experiencing a playthrough that I must have recorded a week or two ago. So I don't actually know what's going to happen. I also try to make it a point not to look at how much time is left in the video so that I don't know, you know, what's going to happen next. So I really honestly don't know whether or not this um, gargoyle is going to win. It's the whole point of that rant. Feels like things are coming along nicely for the gargoyle, but I, I honestly can't be confident. Uh, I haven't seen a necromancer be successful, but this one seems like it's on the right path. Because we're using... Uh, Death Menos, effectively. Let's see, we have protection from cold, and we should have put on that magical power ring quite a long time ago. Probably a dexterity ring instead of the protection from cold. Ta-da, I was right. But you can see that the Death Menos shadow has, um, has doubled in size, so... That's positive. It means that it will be harder to hit from distance. And harder to hit inside the box. And since we're not the ones hitting, you know, oh gosh, that's that's really unfortunate and unfair. Pickle is right at the bottom of that staircase as soon as we go down. I I don't know how we're supposed to beat a guy at 1v1 in this situation. Our necrotize really has to be successful. Uh, we are getting some good hits in. He hasn't hit us that much yet. We were really close to the win, but a couple, just two hits from Pickle would be it, and that's nice. Okay, so I think it's totally okay to lose Pickle in this situation. Like, I, of course, would love to have him fight alongside us for the entire next floor, but we, you know, it's better to have the 1v1 up here than to try to fight six dudes at once down here. See, I, I don't know why I didn't... You have to refill your health before you go do something like that, you maniac. Okay refill everything first okay then we'll go downstairs and i think we, obviously we should go downstairs somewhere else than that exact place here's another ring ring of fire we'll keep keep a hold of that but we don't need it right now boots let's go get those boots i pushed the wrong button Yeah, I put that cloak on too, yeah. Don't need that robe anymore. Okay, black bear. We'd like to have a black bear, a zombie black bear join us on our team. He's raging. Okay, we didn't get the we didn't get the um, the skelly boy black bear, so that's not good. Uh, invocations at five is solid. Um, we could use a little more dodging probably. Um, a little bit of fighting, maybe? Uh, yeah, dodging was the first place I went. We'll just get that to two real quick. And, um, oh, it looks like we either, um, yeah, we immediately went to two because of the black bear. So, yeah, we'll go back to leveling necromancy. I need these, uh, need these skellies to stick around for longer if we're going to be successful. This jelly is trouble. You can corrode us really quick. Fire, Bombardier, Beetle, those two in combination should have been more trouble than they were right there, which is a very good sign for this uh, for this Gargoyle. I think there's a really good chance that we survive this fight and maybe win the, the battle against the Formicid. Getting shot from distance with Dem Death Minos doesn't seem fair. How is this guy so accurate? How did we die? That's really unfair. 11-26. Uh, okay, so the Formicid wins. Well, we'll see you next time.